Anyway, uh, 524, uh, longest word in dictionary for deleting. Um, given a string and a string dictionary, find the longest string in the dictionary that can be formed by deleting some characters of the given string. Uh, if there are more than one possible results, one possible results, uh, return the longest word with the smallest uh, lexicographic order. If there is no possible result, return the energy string. Okay. Uh, find a long Man, I just read it aloud, but I didn't actually pause that in my head. That happens sometimes. I gotta. <laughs> but the longest string is formed by deleting some characters to give a string. Okay, that's just like a really awkward way of saying this is a superset of some word in there. Uh, oops. And kind of go through it. Okay. The size of a dictionary won't be uh, more than a thousand. And each string is less than a thousand, or the string in the input will only contain lowercase letters. Okay, uh, that's fine. I mean, I think this is actually really similar to what we've done before. Uh, the longest word, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I, I think this is the time to use Python. I could just see it, plus, plus, but, or, yeah, I could do whatever, it's fine. But I'm gonna choose to use Python. Um, how do I want to do it? Yeah, okay. Mm, there are a couple of ways to do it. But I'm also just trying to think about uh, So the, uh, the So my first thought of do, uh, approaching this problem, it's, uh, well, uh, if nothing else, I probably want a dictionary of Kind of all these things. So, okay, actually, well, my first first thought is that uh, given two, uh, given the input word and a word in a dictionary, we could figure it out just by actually really coincidentally uh, the problem that we solved on the easy. I actually already forgot what the number was, but but if, but if you go back like I don't know, uh, thirty minutes or whatever, uh, like we literally solve a problem that's very uh, related because. Uh, in that you just find a dictionary of uh, the two words, and then if uh, find a dictionary of two words, but basically like uh, the character counts of both two words, and then if the input word of S in this case is a superset of the dictionary word, then you choose the longest word and so forth. Um, but that's kind of the naive approach, and then you gotta do it for everybody, uh, which. Mm, just probably maybe a little bit too slow No, it's probably fast enough because you only have n words and of them is a thousand characters so you pre-process it you probably could do it fast enough okay so I'm think I'm gonna just do that and then see um, kind of see I was actually going to do something even fancier but I don't think I even have to uh, Do I? I guess it's a all strings in input. Okay. Um, yeah, I I thought I was gonna do something fancier, but I don't think I have to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> That's all the all the uh the the size of the dictionary and the 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 length of all the strings are in the thousands of together. If you use a very naive algorithm, it well. If you could do each, um, if you could do each dictionary word in all of t time, where t is the length of the string, that's still only going to be like, you know, thousand times a thousand roughly. Uh, so I don't think I have to worry about anything. <laughs> I say this now, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the thing is also I need to pre-process uh, this, but that's fine. Uh, yeah. We don't even have to sort the dictionary because I, well, I mean, I guess you can. So then you can return the first results if you do, like, if you sort it in a cool way. But technically, that's has a uh, uh, a more difficult, uh, uh, it's, it has a longer running time. Uh, okay.
Oh, maybe that one just opened. Uh, I don't know if this is an open premature optimization, but I'm going to do it. Uh, oops. Well, I guess we already have one more than one. I don't even have to do that first. Mm -hmm. let me know if you have questions I'm just typing it out I mean I could narrate this but I don't think it's super interesting right uh, I'm just um, I'm just uh, counting the characters in, and put in a hash table uh, where is it Oh, we, do we want one the longest words? Uh, now to the same so word is before first. Give it a go. Probably some typos in there. I typed a lot. Very cool. That we got a lucky. Most of them are test cases. I don't want unique words. I guess that doesn't really matter. Oops, should have looked at it first at least. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, let's send it. Oh, news. I think we want something more, right? Uh, Oh, huh, you're right. That's probably what I'm getting wrong with. I might have missed some of this. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just You could have stopped me for a second. Okay, so I, uh, I guess I did read the poem well. Uh, so you could only form by deleting some characters. So it's not a, a subset of the characters. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you get lucky. With it. I guess this... this uh, sometimes you get quote-unquote lucky or unlucky. Uh, and... Hopefully, also, if this was an interview, uh, the interviewer would stop me, but or at least like give a little hint because I, I just misread this. But uh, okay, cool. Uh, so, but that means uh, this is even easier then, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I think I just solved a slightly harder problem, but yeah, thanks for uh, uh, for a good eye now too. But um, yeah, this is actually even easier as I don't even have to do any of it. Okay. But yeah, but so we'll do what uh, what we call uh, the two finger algorithm because uh, that's just what I think it's what it's literally called. But uh, basically, you have a pointer to the to one away and then or one string and then you have point a pointer to the beginning of the other string and then you walk through and then if if you could find all the uh uh you can find all the letters then it's fine. Oh man. I can't believe it. Mm. Now you can test a bunch, but but I think eh, sometimes it happens. I, I didn't test my understanding enough. Uh, but but I, I think one of your assumptions <laughs> sometimes when you're coding this is that you read the palm correctly. So uh, it happens. Oh, but now I need to return. Turns out I need to work. Word up. Uh, okay. Mm, about to keep at the bound check here, that's why I was thinking. Should be that, okay. No, that's not right. Middle. Is that right? Yeah, okay. But now, you bet I'm going to take a test to, uh, do something. <laughs> it went fast enough, though, at least, right? So, uh, uh, so at least uh, if uh, if that problem comes up <laughs> in the future, or whatever, y'all know how to solve it. Uh, or at least you have the idea, uh, given these same constraints. Uh, but yeah, but okay. Well, it still gave the same answer, which made me nothing. But uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> you bet I'm gonna try to. Uh, Try to get more. Mm, okay. Should be okay. I mean, this is a little ugly. Uh, yeah. And maybe possibly off by one, to be honest. But um should be okay. Yeah, right, let's see. Oops. Okay, well Ah, thanks for the the catch, uh the quick catch now too. Uh definitely would have um I don't know. <laughs> I mean definitely would have spent some time kinda of trying to figure out where I went wrong, but uh but th thanks for the good catch. Uh but yeah the uh <laughs> I mean, eventually, but you save us a lot of time, so I always appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I think this algorithm, this match thing is very straightforward. Uh, 
actually kind of disappointed or or just kind of maybe my expectations for a medium was a little higher because I because this is actually like just a very straightforward n square algorithm and that's the part that maybe I just kind of expected a little bit more maybe I don't know maybe that's an excuse but I really I think for uh, for a medium problem this is actually very straightforward and very probably too easy to be a medium uh, and it's probably fine for an individual problem, uh, at least a little bit on the short side, like on a phone screen or something like that. But uh, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, I, I was thinking maybe you could do something with uh, some kind of. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know what was the fancy thing I was alluding to, but uh, uh, but I, I wonder if we could do. I mean, I, I think what I did was kind of fancy-ish, but it was still n square. I think, uh, but that problem was the problem that uh, if I mean, I'm describing a problem that I'm not I didn't solve, but uh, but that problem has a potential n cube algorithm or n times t cube algorithm. Uh, so I think that's why it's a little bit more interesting because you could optimize that to from n t cube or n t n times t square to n t. Uh, but here it's just literally like very naive, uh, straightforward, uh, um, n square uh, naive algorithm or n times t algorithm. So that's why I was, I don't know, maybe my mind went someplace. Uh, but this algorithm is pretty straightforward. I think you definitely need to know it. Uh, it will come up from time to time, maybe. And this is probably like a really easy version of it. Uh, and string problems come up all the time, so I definitely recommend studying these in general. I think this is probably a little bit too uh, too naive for me to ask, but I think assuming you read the problem correctly, unlike me, uh, it's a problem that I would probably slot in like a thirty-minute phone screen just to prove, to, just to show that you you could program and stuff like that. But uh, but probably not for a more senior world. Um, but yeah, but otherwise it's straightforward. Based, I don't know if anyone want, want me to describe this problem or this part of, of the matching algorithm. It's as I said earlier, the two finger algorithm. Uh, but this is also very very straightforward. Um, like so, I don't know. Like, eh, I don't know how to describe it. But but uh, but yeah. Uh, and definitely. Uh, let's go a little bit on the code cleaning. I actually think I did pretty okay on the keeping code clean. Uh, I mean, maybe some variable names could be better, but like eh, S here, maybe it's not so clean, but it is kind of what they give us an input, so, but, uh, yeah, uh, but otherwise, I, yeah, I think I'm okay with kind of this thing. Uh, if I was an interviewer, I think this is roughly what I'd be looking for if I asked this problem. Uh, though, not a fan of it for a more difficult problem.